these. So I think this is the first, ooh, that's my wheel doing that. So I think this is the first clip you guys are gonna see of this vlog. So hello, today is Saturday. I'm off to get my nail fixed. I went to feed my cat and broke my nail when I did. I just got these bad boys filled the other day. So I'm like, um, I don't want to not have a nail when I just got these things filled. I am off to do that. That was not part of the plan. But then also I was talking to Preston last night and I've been dying for the robot vacuum, you know, the Roomba. My parents used to have it and I always loved it and I think like theirs broke or something but anyway I've like always wanted it but I always was like I don't know if it's worth the money I mean it's like $400 and some of them are up to like $1,000 just depending on which series you get but I was talking to him about it and he's like you know why I think your brother got you gift cards to Bed Bath & Beyond that were like $50 a pop and then I remembered he did do that and I remember being like oh my gosh so I think today I will be going to Bed Bath & Beyond and picking up a Roomba because that's $100 off and I think it's 374 in store I have a 20% off coupon um, so it's really gonna drop the price a lot so I'm really excited I'm really hoping that this this all goes through because that'd be so cool and I just think it will help a ton because I get such anxiety looking at my floors because my floors get so much dirt and like hair on it because of the dogs that it just literally like I don't even like to walk barefoot in my house sometimes like I only will walk barefoot in my house if I just vacuum but they track in so much dirt and so much mud and so much fur within like 24 hours that my like whole feeling warm in my own house feeling goes away pretty quick I'm really excited about that today is a really cold and windy day I woke up to like banging on the house like from all different areas maybe mainly the front door and I'm like oh my gosh what is going on it's so windy and then I'm also super annoyed because like I was talking to you guys uh, before there's an item that I'm waiting to get in the in my PO box that I bought from someone who she just keeps giving me the runaround, like, oh, I talked to them, but you didn't talk to them because there's still no update, and you can't give me the number that they gave you, and it's like, it's just, I keep getting the runaround, it's just been awful. Like, this person lives three hours away from me. It's now been over a week, and I haven't gotten the item, so I just think she's full of crap. <laughs> last night, Preston came home, and we went to Chili's, that's what we ended up doing last night. We went to Chili's, and then we went, we were by his brother and sister-in-law's house, so we went and visited them and got to play with the nephews. And I found out that she knows I have a YouTube channel. So if you are watching, like, hello. It's just weird, like, talking to people in my everyday life about it. Just because, I don't know, they're like, why do you have a YouTube channel? And I don't know. It's just fun for me. I woke up, like, in the middle of the night to, like, a really bad stomach ache. I don't know if I ate something. Like, I knew I didn't really like the meal I got from Chili's. I got the fajitas. And I've never liked their fajitas. And, like, last night I was like, yeah, I really don't like their fajitas. I woke up in the middle of the night with a really bad stomach ache. That ended up going away. I took medicine and it was fine after that. And it could have also been because the cat was laying on me. Like whenever I don't feed her, she will lay on my face and then she'll lay on my chest and then she'll lay on my stomach and she'll just keep walking on me. And I can't have pressure on my stomach. I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, so I got my nail fixed, but she didn't make it look like any of the others. Like look how long those are and then look at that one. And then she like pretty much like ripped it off instead of just like filling it. I made sure I kept my nail in good condition so she could fill it. I don't know why my wheel's doing that now. At least it's fixed. That's all I care about. <laughs> and then she like charges me an extra dollar for like no reason. She's like, it's supposed to be $2, but I'm gonna charge you three for literally no reason. I think it's maybe because she had to do a white tip instead of like a full color. It literally does not take much more work for them to do a white tip. Like she literally didn't even try to make them look similar. Now I'm off to Starbucks. And then from Starbucks, I will try and decide. I think I'm gonna go to this thrift shop that I've been going to every weekend. I like going every weekend because then I can see like what new stuff they have because it's a thrift shop. It's not like they have like a normal inventory. So I can just kind of see what goodies they got and hopefully which would be amazing is they have a dress I can wear for my engagement shoot. That would be awesome. This is like the longest line at Starbucks. I don't even understand why. This is honestly the longest Starbucks line I think I've ever sat in. Like I guess everyone wants to get a hot drink and I'm over here like I want a nice coffee. Yeah it's long for no reason. Oh and my phone is dying so fast now. I hate that like I love that Apple does updates, but it's like they don't care about the older model phones. They just care about the new phone. And like it always does this no matter what version it is. It always does this. It will kill your battery quicker like as you update to a new software. So now my battery literally dies. I'm sorry, it's clipping on you guys. My battery literally dies 
Like it's 11 o'clock right now and my battery's already dying. So I got my coffee, now I need to go get gas. It is freezing cold, got my coffee, I got some gas. It is really cold outside. But um, I ended up putting on my jacket because I didn't realize it was as cold as it was. I got my yummy Starbucks, gosh I love Starbucks. And then um, I went to the like, uh, what's called thrift shop. They didn't really have anything. So it's not like a thrift shop. I don't know if you guys have it, but it's called Play-Doh's Closet. And it's really big here in Florida. I don't know if it's everywhere. That's why I never really say it. But it's Play-Doh's Closet. And I like going there because I always can find like really cute accessories for like dirt cheap. Yeah, so I went there and didn't have any luck. And now instead of going to Walmart because I was thinking about going to Walmart. I'm gonna go to Target, which I think I told you guys Target, but I was telling myself Walmart. I'm sorry, people, but if you see people walking, let them go, especially if it's raining or if it's cold. Let the people walking go first. I'm also gonna look for more makeup because I want to do more first impressions for you guys. Yeah, time for Target. So I'm leaving Target right now. I bought some stuff to do first impressions, which really happy about because that's what I've been wanting to do there's a bunch of new stuff that Target even had and usually I've noticed that Target is usually the last to get the new items I don't know why you would think they'd be one of the first but they're actually usually the last it's usually like CVS and Walgreens and all those that get the products pretty early on so I think I'm just gonna like wait on the vacuum I mean I could get a really good deal on it but what's the point like I can wait I don't need it today also Jen thank you I just got a comment from her saying that she likes how my channel has gotten more positivity stuff on it um, and that's that's really where my channel originally was supposed to have been when I started my channel it was supposed to have been inspiration to be an actor a model or just to follow your dreams in general that's what my channel originally was for and it kind of I read like on a stupid thing which I'm so dumb for doing this but I read on like one of those like guru gossip pages people were saying this is like maybe eight years ago people are like you know she's stuck up she thinks she's this and that because she's an actor and a model and blah 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 so I was like you know what I guess people don't take to that very well so I won't do that type of channel and I just stuck to beauty and while I love the beauty and stuff like I always just wanted an inspirational type of channel I wanted a channel where people could go and just feel inspired and feel like they could just live their dream. That's kind of why I have kind of gone back to doing the more like inspirational type channel because I just want to inspire people. Like I always have, you know, I love the feeling of being inspired and I just want to do that for other people. So that's, that's kind of where I'm taking my channel back to, back to its original roots. And uh, I really appreciate that it's being noticed and appreciated. That makes me feel good. So thank you, Jen, for saying that. I really appreciate it. I'm home. I went to Target and I picked up some things. I unfortunately don't want to show like the makeup stuff that I picked up because a lot of people may think I'm like a jerk for this, but there have been so many times where I said I was gonna do like a first impression on something or I was going to do a video on something and I log online and I kid you not, like a day or two later, someone else had that video up. So <laughs> I'm just like, you know what? I don't even wanna tell people because I haven't seen a single thing about any of this stuff. The other stuff that I picked up was I picked up this headband. So it has just like the really pretty rhinestones on it and I just think it's really really pretty. So I think this will look really good whether I want to wear it on my wedding day or excuse you, or like any other kind of like wedding festivity or I'm going to two more weddings this year so maybe I'll wear it to those. The next thing that I got were some banana chips because Preston and I love banana chips and I want to try and eat more like dried fruit as like my chips. So I picked those up and then I found these earrings. These things were only like three bucks. So I picked them up just, you know, I can wear them up or down or whatever. So I thought these were super cute. We'll see, um, you know, what I can wear them with. I thought they'd look cute with my headband too. And last but not least, I've been loving just wearing studs lately. I don't know, I was like last to get on this like bandwagon, but I picked these up, which I think are gonna be way too big, but they were the only ones that were sterling silver. I wish they were a little bit smaller, but um, I picked these up. And I thought they were really, really beautiful. They're really sparkly. I'm like digging the sparkly type jewelry right now. So I got these. They're sterling silver. They were 20 bucks. So I don't know if I'm gonna hold on to them, but I'm gonna try them out and see if I like them. And the rest were just like makeup things. I only have three things of like, they're not really makeup, I just realized. I thought I picked up like makeup, but I didn't. Um, these are actually some tools <laughs> that I'm excited to try out. There's so many like new tools on the market that I really wanted to try these ones out. I only have one thing that's an actual like makeup product. So I'm really excited about that. But I wanted to taste these banana chips because I've never had these ones before. I'm gonna try these out. So that's what the chip looks like. Mmm, very good. Sit, sit. Sit. These are really good and the dogs really like them. So these are definitely a little bit hard. I wish they were a little bit softer of like a chip, 
Um, so this is a major heck to the no. It is huge. Not only like huge, it just like, like is limp. I know, way too big, not what I was looking for. So I will not be keeping these. The idea is there, but it's just so thick and big and no. So those earrings were a major heck no. If you guys know of any place that has like really flat earrings like these, like these are flat onto my ear. Like here, see, those are flat. Whereas these are like so very much not flat. See what I mean? Like they're super high up. If you guys know of any um, places like where you guys get your studs, let me know. Cause I just would like to do that. So right now it's 3.30. I'm having a snack. I'm having some of my banana chips. I had some cereal for lunch. Now I'm gonna have some of these and I think I'm gonna pick something up tonight for dinner because I don't really feel like making anything and I don't really have anything really to make. So I think I'm gonna pick up dinner tonight. I uploaded my Ipsy glam bag video and then I'm about to upload my vlog and have that go live tomorrow. And then I'm gonna have the video that you guys are watching right now. I'm gonna have it uploaded on Monday. Today's Saturday, tomorrow I'll have a vlog, Monday I'll have a vlog, and then I'll have some beauty videos for you guys next week. I've recorded a bunch of just kind of like advice videos and I was watching them and I just kind of go in and out of focus and I don't know if I wanna upload these particular ones just because I feel like when I recorded it, I just didn't really say everything I wanted to say and I just feel like there's better ways of putting some of the stuff that I said. So I don't know if I'm gonna upload those just yet. I don't know, I feel like I didn't really say everything I really, really wanted to say. So yeah, I'm getting all these videos done, which is making me really, really happy. I'm getting ahead of the game and I'm just gonna keep going today. Like get as much done as I can. Yes! Okay, so I now have a video ready to go tomorrow. It is finishing up uploading and that's going to be live tomorrow. And then I am going to now start editing this vlog that you guys are watching right now. I'm gonna edit all the way up to what you guys are watching right now. And that way I can just edit it really fast. And that way it is ready for Monday. Uh, I can finish editing it Monday morning and have it uploaded and ready to go for Monday. And then I'm totally caught up with you guys. You guys will be totally caught up and you guys know what's going on in my life during that time. I wanted to mention in this vlog that I am uploading that will be live tomorrow. So the last vlog that you guys have seen. There were some things I said in the vlog that, you know, I kind of was going through something that was just so, it was so strange to me, but I'm kind of at a much better place now. Like, I was at a good place then, but now I'm not as like, I just kind of was bitter before um, in the whole situation. It just, I was bitter, so uh, that's just kind of where I was at in my mindset. I was very peaceful with it, but at the same time I had some bitterness toward it. But now I'm just, it's just over and done with and in the past and just something that I moved forward from. So, um, all is well, all is good, all is fine. So, um, I'm really like just kind of hungry. Like, I had a very small bowl of cereal and it just isn't I don't know for some reason I just don't feel very like satisfied today so I feel really good about the amount of stuff I've gotten done today but I'm really hungry and I don't really know what I want to eat so I just went and got a chicken sandwich at McDonald's the girl hands the guy like the girl who ordered her meal hands the guy her trash and made the guy throw away her trash I'm so sorry, but that is so trashy. Who does that? But like, I'm sorry, but the drive-thru guy is not your trash can. She's like handing him all this trash and I'm thinking, um, it was like cups and stuff like that. So I'm like, maybe he's doing like a refill on something that's from a different store. I don't know. Um, no, like she straight up is just handing him her trash. Usually there's like a trash can outside of like a drive-thru. Like right at the end of the drive-thru, you can usually drop your trash off. But that's not what this place has. And if it doesn't, then guess what? You live with the trash. The guy at the drive-thru is not your trash can. And not only that, it was like a drink for her kid. So like her kid's gross, probably boogery hands have probably like gotten it disgusting. Hey y'all, so I am editing the vlog that you guys are watching right now. I'm going to have it completely edited up even to the point that you guys are watching right now. And I'm really excited about it. So I'm really happy to finally just be updated with videos and to have stuff in queue. And I hope you guys are enjoying it. And as always, just let me know if you guys are interested in seeing a particular video. I would love to film what you guys are interested in seeing. So I'm sitting here like just trying to find like new YouTubers and new channels to watch and stuff like that. And I came across a channel where um, someone had like something really serious and scary happen to them. And there was just someone who like commented on it and just made them feel even worse 
for something that they already felt guilty about. Like, um, I found a channel where their son had gotten bit by their family dog, and that number one is already a really scary thing that they're going through, and something really like sad and something literally that would shake any parent and they're already dealing with that and they're already really upset and scared about the whole situation and you know then they have to stress to think if they have to get rid of their dog and, but what like really made me mad is like someone commented trying to like lecture them like never should have got the dog and trying to just lecture them and I'm sorry people but like if someone's already beaten down and really scared and sad and upset about something don't make it worse for them they just left a comment just saying like you know, you should never have gotten the dog, which they got the dog before their son was even born. And like, they just like, were sitting there trying to like lecture them and make them feel even worse than they already felt. So I'm just like here to say like, don't make someone feel worse for something that they already feel bad about. Like that's not your job here on earth. That's not your reasoning for watching videos and you know, whatever. It just like really made me mad. <laughs> don't make people feel worse. I don't know, have some common sense. Good morning, y'all. I literally, I don't even know if I'm awake right now. I'm so tired. I'm having like nightmares and stuff. It sucks, but morning, I'm like literally just waking up. I, I, it takes forever for me to fall asleep at night now. I don't know what's going on. Like, I don't sleep right away like I used to. I used to be able to just pass right out. Now it takes forever. I didn't fall asleep last night until like one o'clock and I lay down at 10. I'm sorry, the phone keeps shaking because the dogs keep pushing on my arm yeah so i don't know what's going on but anyways i just want to say good morning i'm really excited for today i get to see my family and hang out with everyone and i'm just really excited for today i wanted to check in because i don't think i'm going to check in much today so i wanted to make sure i did this morning so i hope you guys have an awesome sunday and i will see you in my next vlog bye good morning today is monday i had a really bad night last night and don't mind me i hate wearing like a white hoodie i don't know why i feel like i look like a marshmallow or something and I've got like a white t-shirt on underneath but um today's Monday and I had a really really rough night last night as far as my stomach goes I didn't sleep the night before at all just because of whatever and then last night I got the worst stomach pains I had had that like a couple weekend weeks or a couple days ago as well but like I would take like one or two of the antacids and they were gone immediately this time I took like 10 and they weren't gone. It was really, really rough. And I'm like just hoping it doesn't come back because it's starting to feel like it's going to now. So yeah, my stomach is just like super messed up. I, we ate somewhere that whenever we eat there, Presno's has stomach problems. And it's like one of our favorite restaurants. It's this place called BJ's. I don't know if you guys have it where you live, but it's like a brewery and restaurant. And it's so delicious. And we, we ate there last night for my brother's birthday and we just all love it but for whatever reason like preston will either throw up from it or have a really bad stomach ache and he said he woke up this morning with a bad stomach ache i had it all last night i was up from like 12 30 until like three or four no it's four 12 30 to four i was up um laying on the couch and i couldn't lay down that was the problem i had to sit up and that's why i couldn't stay in bed i had to be sitting up like i am now the only thing that would make it go away is when i sat up and then sitting up didn't help so i kept taking medicine to like push it down all the acid down and it would go down and then it started like coming back up which i'm sure you guys don't care about but it just was not cute so then i ended up putting a heating pad on because i remembered when i had this bad flare the last time i would use a heating pad and at first it makes you feel really nauseous because it's like heating up and after that it like made my stomach numb to where i couldn't really feel any pain so once that happened i was able to finally go to bed but the pain kept coming and going the rest of the night i'm off to my p.o box right now because the package i ordered is finally here so i just want to get this thing over with and pick it up yesterday was a really good day we ended up like eating breakfast pretty early and then went shopping where do we even go oh we went to like best buy he had some returns to make so we went and did some of his returns played the new guitar hero live at best buy because we've been wanting to try it out and that game is so much harder than the original we ended up going to my parents house hung out with them had a really good time with them went to dinner with them went back to the house and stayed at their house till like 11 and just chatted and had a really 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 good time my birthday is in two weeks and my niece's due date it's the day after my birthday and they think that she's like further along that it could probably be this week that she has her so we're kind of all just on pins and needles waiting to see if 
my niece makes her appearance. We all want her to be here. We're all really excited. If you guys could see what I'm wearing right now, not only do I look ridiculous, like my face just, I'm not having a good skin day. I'm not having a good eye day, really tired. You could clearly tell on my face. If you guys could see how ridiculous it looks, I'm wearing a white t-shirt, like one of my old basketball shirts. I'm wearing a white hoodie that's a man's hoodie. Actually, that's the best part. The t-shirt was originally a guy's t-shirt, like it's a guy's style t-shirt. All of our basketball clothes for women, they were all guys. So it's a guy t-shirt, a guy jacket, and you can tell like when it's a man's jacket. It does not fit flattering on women. And then I have yoga pants on. I <laughs> I have like fluffy socks, what are they called? What do people call them, fluffy? Well, I don't know why I can't think of it, but anyways, fluffy socks. And then I have my Victoria's Secret pink flats on, the like slides on. And that's what I am wearing. And I look like a ridiculous person. And the post office was so busy. And like I'm saying good morning to everyone. And I'm just like, I look like a clown right now. And everyone was so sweet. And like they could tell I looked ridiculous and I felt ridiculous. So they just kind of gave little chuckles. So like then I started dancing with some guy. Like he was going one way, then I went that way. And then it just kept going like for a while. It's like the uncomfortable. It's one thing to do like the quick like change, change. But like this was like going for a while where we kept like stepping over each other's path. Oh, I wish you guys could see how fantastic this lady looks right now. Anyway, this is really the only clip I'll probably be able to talk to you guys today. I'll probably talk to you guys maybe one more time if that. But uh, I wanted to do, oh, you know what? I can film my video I was wanting to film. That's what I'll do. I'll go home because this filming is going to be so quick, so quick that that's fine. So I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna do this and Yes. Hello, so I just finished filming a video. My camera's gonna die because I use this camera to film it. I always do whenever I do face reviews or anything, I always use my G7X because I have a prime lens on my T4i, so I can't use that. Anyway, I just finished, I love filming videos. Like, you have no idea. It just makes me so excited and happy, and I love filming. So, I just finished those. They're really quick, easy, simple ones, and really excited about them. I think you guys will like them as well. I think I'm gonna sit and watch some TV and do some work, wait for Preston to get home, and just really relax. I've had a lot of stuff on my mind lately that it's just kinda like, I kinda go through this motion. Sometimes I'm up, sometimes I'm down, and it's like, I'm staying high up, I'm staying up, it's just sometimes I'll feel myself want to go down then it's like this it's not so much this I've definitely learned how to go from this to more like a this type of thing you know Ugh, I don't know if you guys have a g7x but I swear to you they have the worst battery life of life g7x suck on batteries so do all of the Canon batteries to be honest like except for like the like t4 eyes thank you Athena <laughs> but like any of their point and shoot cameras forget it like the battery life is garbage Canon get with the times all of us invest so much money this is a 700 and something dollar camera and you're gonna have a battery that dies like within 10 minutes like come on I like charge this battery all the time and everyone who I know who has a g7x and all their vlogs it's camera died camera died camera died so if you guys are considering it just know you may need to buy multiple batteries or just be prepared to use your phone or just know that something's gonna happen. Really just excited about YouTube and my journey and everything that's been going on lately. I'm just really excited and hopeful and I just, I'm loving 2016 so far and I try to, I don't wanna jinx it, but I'm just really trying to embrace it. My lashes are on point and I want you guys to know why. You guys will know why either this week or next week, why they look so fabulous. That look fabulous. Anyway, I gotta go edit my vlog too because I gotta upload my vlog from yesterday. I think this is going to be a good little alternation. I'll have beauty videos and vlogs and I think it's gonna work out nice. So anyway, I will talk to you guys either later or I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.